It was definitely a terrifying experience for six people in Pakistan who found themselves trapped in a gondola. The thing is, it broke down while dangling 900 feet above the ground. The group was on their way to school in the privately owned and very rickety looking lift when a cable snapped, leaving it stuck at a sharp angle. Pakistan sent in commandos and helicopters who put the trapped passengers into slings and zip lined them to safety. The dangerous operation took 16 hours to complete. The owner of the cable car has been charged with numerous offenses, including negligence. In other news, 12 years after the Fukushima disaster, the nuclear plant has started releasing treated radioactive wastewater in the Pacific Ocean. Over a million tons of the water, which contains low levels of the radioactive isotope tritium, will be released over the next 30 years. And despite the UN's atomic regulator's assurances that effects will be negligible, some neighboring countries are furious. China has implemented a ban on Japanese seafood and says Japan is treating the Pacific like its own private sewer. But Japan says the move is necessary both to decommission the Fukushima plant and for safety in case of a natural disaster. And India has made history by becoming the first country to land a craft near the moon's south pole. Not only that, the Chandrayaan 3's rover successfully left the lander and took its first steps on the lunar surface. Its mission is to determine what minerals make up the moon's surface and analyze the chemical composition of the soil, as well as look for water in the portion of the moon which is permanently in shadow. Scientists believe that water could provide fuel, oxygen, and of course hydration for future missions, including potential moon bases. This is certainly another giant leap. I'll be back in a few, so don't go away.